Hey, hey, so, oh, Deem, this is an update. <laughs> it's funny when I don't use much mirrors in my life, so every now and then when I take a video, I can see myself. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, I cannot see you. Um, so hello to this video, which I'm taking um, somewhere on the southern end of an island called Rokansari by our species. It's near Bumala, and I want to give you a little update on yeah what's been going on uh, some big changes have happened uh, i can say this already and um, yeah some some interesting thoughts are coming up here yeah so some bumblebee at my feet i don't know if you can see it <laughs> yeah so um first about this island before i come to the kind of big news i think big news uh, to me somehow at least so, um, yeah, this island, Rokansari here, there's some logging going to happen in the ideas of some of us. Yeah, so I'm not saying that it's going to happen. At least there's an intention by us humans to log trees here on Rokansari. It's an area of altogether 30 hectares or something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but check out the numbers numbers uh, at Greenpeace or Suomen Luonon Suojeluliito like the Nature Finnish Nature Protection League. Uh, there is information if you just search Rokansaari, um, you will get it. And Pumala, maybe. So, yeah. And I'm thinking, walking through this forest, and I'm thinking, like, if we need to do something like this, we, we kind of have a problem, right? If we have such a dependency on destroying important habitats for us, and I want to explain why this place here is important for us as a species. Um, not to use it, right? So I'm, I'm quite uh, opposing the idea of uh, us and them, right? Those people logging this uh, industry. and Because quite often I think that they don't have the power that we assume that they have. Very often it's people in job descriptions that contradict their own beliefs, right? The purpose of serving humanity is not fulfilled because they are actually doing the opposite we are doing the opposite right so we are doing the opposite of yeah serving what what is good for our survival as a species and also for the kind of the well-being of ourselves because when we are involved in something that is contradicting our beliefs personal beliefs right if I talk to the truck driver when I'm hitchhiking who is driving logs and I'm asking like, do you ever think when you come to your clear cut that this is somehow wrong? He says, yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, and he's, a, you know, maybe an early wheel in the gearbox, but, uh, you know, it's, it's um, where does it start, right? Does it start when we put, you know, red ribbons around the trees? Um, I actually found one somewhere but yeah there are actually many of them on here already so yeah there's intention by us humans to to do loggings here and that is not you know what we can want uh, and very important this idea this place here is because we use it right it's in a very popular area in Saima there's like walking trails there are beautiful beaches on this island it can be reached by canoe and I think by sailboat also and you can have a cafe somewhere on the island and um, so it's an important place for us because it's important for us to get to places where we think nature is. It doesn't matter that nature is everywhere. It, we need to understand, we need to have the idea that this place is nature. So when we are in these places and we see what's happening here, right? There's so much life happening here and not just beautiful to watch life. It's also very fragile, very worthy life even in the sense for our own benefits, very worthy. Um, I, I mean, every life is worthy in itself. Um, I put this a bit to have the sun out of my face. Um, not a summer person. <laughs> yes, um, so, so these places are deep places where the nature connection happens. People come here for their holidays, might be some of the few times, you know, in, in their year or in their lives even, that they can be in a place where, you know, life just behaves wildly. 
in their own perspective of course what happens while life happens while the inside of ourselves right we are you know two kilos of other organisms behaving totally wild so anyhow um so when i think about like our power to change this because you know walking around here having in mind that there's a logging plan here uh coming up you know the idea to realize it is in a few months or so before the winter because for because of climate change we cannot um build the ice roads anymore right so we need to do it by, by ferry and when it's windy we have stronger winds also right <laughs> um so we cannot do the logging by ferry so it gets too expensive or impossible and yes so when we are thinking about like what power we have and that's the beautiful part because i feel it's so nice we can just decide not to do this right it doesn't matter what our ancestors you know what laws were made what uh, contracts were made from you know or plans were made in times when we when we knew a lot less about our situation now we have start we are starting to have this like global awareness which is like really good you know after a couple of hundred years of getting to know each other globally it's about time so and that's starting we are, we are starting to understand that the world is ecocentric right we cannot help it we are nature i mean that's like just fun fact it's like, you know, when we're talking about saving nature, it's saving us nature. It's very simple. And I think that's also, again, the beauty. Like, we just need to have that feeling. We need to have this awareness. When we go to a place driving a truck and or buying some toilet paper, using toilet paper or, you know, whatever, that we are us nature and part of what is happening here. So we all together, you know, this is kind of the happening, you know, this stuff happens to us. We kind of watch it happening. Most of us are not deeply involved enough to say like, yes, we did that. I'm responsible for that. So we have a lot of people who, you know, de like responsibilities are vastly, de you know, delegated, spread over many shoulders. So there is no one to blame. And at the same time, there's everyone to blame, especially the, you know, financially top rich. Um, you know, wealth is a different thing. It's not about money, you know. <laughs> I love the luxury yachts. Ah, oh, private jets. Come on, those kind of status symbols. I mean, like, I really like, you know, I think like, no, oh, that is so embarrassing of us to do. You know, this is like not what, who we can be. And yeah, so I see that this video has coming close to eight minutes. I like to keep them at that. So um the news comes in the next one i wish you very good times um safe journeys good choices have a good life and yeah see you one day i hope somehow why <laughs>